Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video, and this is the top 5 mods of the week, episode 141, and I've got 5 really cool mods to share with you this week, plus a couple of honourable mentions. But before we do take a look at the mods from this week, here are the results of the poll over 4,000 of you voted in last week. So the clear winner is the Captain Rex mod with 75 percent of the votes and in second place there is the Battlefront 2 classic clone voice lines mod with 13 and then we have the clone officers and to back game Han Solo in joint third with 4% and then with 3% we have the Rebel Commandos mod. Remember, after you've watched the entirety of this video, you can participate in the vote for this week. Just head on over to my channel page, then the community tab, and the vote will be there. Moving on to the mods from this week, starting with two honourable mentions. So we have the Earth-like skybox for Geonosis, created by Spectre, and this changes the skybox and lighting of Geonosis to resemble something more like what we'd see on our planet of Earth. I actually really like this, specifically the skybox. It just offers a new atmosphere to experience when you're playing on Geonosis. It works so well, especially when looking in the distance. I'm not a huge fan of the lighting, it's probably more down to the limitations of the modding tools. I do like the colour of the ground and all of the rocky surface of Geonosis with the new lighting, but it is quite harsh. There isn't much of a middle ground, it's either really dark or really bright, probably because of limitations, unfortunately. Moving on to the next honourable mention, and I have the Rebel Aiden mod from Smoke Death Sticks. So this replaces Lando with a Rebellion version of Aiden. I know this is something a lot of people wanted DICE to implement, but this replaces all of Lando's skins with various skins of Aiden, so you can have multiple ones to choose from. Of course, you have her voice lines included as well. So overall, it's pretty good. You have the standard Rebellion pilot outfit of Aiden that we see in the campaign. There is also the Inferno Squad outfit as well, along with the Stormtrooper armor. And then there is also a custom-made version with some of the Rebellion assets on her. And then there is also a Hoth version as well, if you want to use it. And now for the top five countdown. And in fifth place this week, kicking things off is the live action Night Owls mod from Cubic Titan and Daz Assassin. So basically this takes what we saw in The Mandalorian recently and puts it into Battlefront 2 over Boba Fett. So it changes up his armor completely. As you can see, it also includes a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus. If you were a fan of this armor, then you're going to want to download this mod because it is really well recreated in Battlefront 2. In fourth place this week, I've got the Jawa reinforcement from this guy, 446. This is a character many of us would have liked to have seen in a hunt mode made by DICE, but nevertheless, Jawas are finally playable in Battlefront 2 thanks to this mod. It's offline only, do not use this online because it does change the abilities, but as you can see, it replaces the Ewok with a Jawa. There is also the CA-87 as the weapon instead of the bow, and that does change in terms of firing style. It's not basically firing arrows, it's literally firing shotgun shots. Now the Wisties are replaced with the Astromech Droid, followed by the middle ability being a nerfed version of the Shot Spin as seen in BB9E, and the right ability is Fortify so it gives you a health boost. And to top things off there is also a custom portrait image for the respawn and collection menus, and honestly it works quite well. The camera angle is kind of broken because of how small the Ewok is. Kind of frustrating when you're playing and you're aiming and stuff like that, but nevertheless, it's a really good attempt. In third place this week, I've got the Supreme Leader Snoke mod from Nerf Herder 219. So this replaces who else other than Emperor Palpatine with Snoke. And even though the face is not as good as one of the previous Snoke mods we've had before. It hasn't been updated in a very long time, so this is a more up-to-date version of Snoke, and it's a good attempt. I do think that the cloth work, the clothing and stuff, is a real highlight. Great job there. There is a custom icon for the collection and respawn menus. There is also voice lines for in-game emotes and just random chatter. Darkness rises and light. 
I have been every voice you have ever heard inside your head. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. Plus there is also an intro and outro theme as well, and there are two skins to choose from. So you have his golden gown that he is infamous for, but there is also just a black version as well, which resembles what we see in The Force Awakens. In the runner-up position for this week's top five Mars of the Week episode, I have the Marshal, otherwise known as Cobb Vanth, from the first episode of The Mandalorian Season 2. This was made by Satan, GameTSF, and Des X. So this replaces, of course, Boba Fett with Cobb Vanth. As you can see, the improvements are subtle, but the mesh importing and the custom model work going on here is just awesome. Now, this mod actually includes a bunch of customization to choose from. So, you can have a version that replaces Boba Fett or Lando, whichever one you want to use, you have that option. So, if you want the jetpack, you can go with Boba, but if you prefer the gunslinging abilities of Lando, and, or just the fact that you could have Cobb and Boba coexist in the game, then you have that option. There is also an optional file to choose whether you want the rangefinder to look downwards, and there is also a custom hero portrait image that replaces the Boba Fett one, along with a custom file for the Marshal's pistol, which looks awesome. And the winner of this top 5 Mars of the Week episode is the Force Unleashed Starkiller mod from This Guy 446. So this replaces Luke Skywalker with Starkiller, and you have a bunch of skins to choose from, and multiple files to choose from, so let's just get into it. So the first skin, Jedi, is replaced with the Aviator skin from The Force Unleashed 2, and then the Hoth appearance is replaced with the Jedi Hero from The Force Unleashed 2, and Yavin Ceremony is re replaced with the Arena skin that is seen in the marketing for The Force Unleashed 2, and Farm Boy is replaced with the Death Star skin as seen in The Force Unleashed game. The model adjustments made to cater for these skins are great, great cloth work, there is also custom star card images along with custom hero portraits image for the respawn and collection menus as well, and that also includes a custom icon for the lightsaber in the menus when you're picking your characters, so that's a really nice touch. But it doesn't stop there because there are custom voice lines for the emotes and random in-game chatter. I guess you needed to see it for yourself. I don't care about your situation. Show me the power within you. You should know who you're dealing with. Custom music for the front end, a custom loading screen, and text changes as well, not just in the description and name of Luke Skywalker, but also all of the skins and their descriptions as well, which is awesome. There are also four additional files for multiple lightsabers and their orientations, so you can have both the Force Unleashed or the Force Unleashed 2 lightsaber going forward, or if you want to use it with the backhand way that Starkiller does in those games, then you can do that, but it is best used when using the offline additional file, which changes the animation to better represent Starkiller in the Force Unleashed games. And it also changes his abilities as well, so don't use this mod online because you will get banned. Those are your top five mods of this week, plus the honorable mentions. Remember, you can vote using the comments down below, just let me know which ones were your favourite, or use the poll in the community tab which is on my channel page right now, and if you do want to check out any of these mods for yourself, there will be download links in the description below. And just a quick announcement, if you are in select countries and you have YouTube Premium, you are able to actually get a free membership which will allow you to get top 5 Mods of the Week episodes 24 hours before anybody else for an entire month, plus a bunch of other awesome perks relating to my channel. So check that out if you are a YouTube Premium member in the UK, Ireland, Japan, Korea or Brazil, there's like a few other countries. If you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any future videos and drop a like to support the channel. That's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.